Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to do the open work crochet stitch pattern. It is a reversible pattern, meaning that it will look the same on both sides. Now to get started, you want to have a foundation chain of multiples of 2 plus 1. So I'm going to do a quick 10 chains plus 1 for a total of 11. For this pattern, you will need to know how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. If you need help with that, check down in the description below to find links on how to do those types of stitches. So here we are with our 11 chains. We want to chain 3. And in the 4th chain from the hook, we want a single crochet. Then we will chain one, skip one, single crochet. And we'll repeat this to the end of the row. So chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. And our last one is a chain, skip one, single crochet. Then we will turn our work and we will chain four. Now you want to locate the gap where we had a chain one and skip one. And in that gap you are going to yarn over and do a double crochet. Followed by a chain one. And you will double crochet in the next chain one space. And we will repeat this to the end of the row. So double crochet in the chain one space, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space. Now on the last stitch, what I like to do is instead of going right into that chain one space, I'm going to actually do my last double crochet in the chain wall. And that's just to give your project a nice smoother uh, sides. So that's row two. So let's go ahead and start row three. We will chain four. And we're going to do exactly like we did in row two. We are going to double crochet in the chain one space. So double crochet, chain one. Double crochet in the chain one space. And that's not static interference in the background, that's my cat scratching her scratching pole. So if you hear that, I do apologize. Alright, and just like we did with row two for our last double crochet, I'm going to do it into the side chain. And again, this is just to give it a nice, smoother side. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on row 4. We're going to chain 2. And we're going to single crochet into that chain 1 space. So we're pretty much repeating what we did on row 1. So it's a chain 1, single crochet in the chain 1 space. Chain 1, single crochet. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, and our last one is going to be single crocheted in the chain wall. Oops, oops, that's okay, it happens. Just get a little too excited sometimes. So that's row four. So row five and six, we are repeating the same method. So chain two, and single crochet in the chain one space. And we'll do this all the way to the end of the row. So it's a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And that's gonna be the method through the whole entire project of single crochet, or double crochet, but you always want to have that chain one right after 
you do your stitch. Alright, coming along. Now you can see right here, I did it purposefully wrong. So you can see that what happens if you end up losing count of your squares, it ends up making your work poke out and it'll end up growing on the sides and then we'll have an uneven project. So it's just kind of one of those things to keep in mind that if you end up getting lost in your work and you start seeing it getting bigger on the sides, you know that you're not doing it correctly and you need to start again. Which believe me, anytime I try to make a blanket, that's what happens. So here we are on row six and we are doing exactly the same thing as the last two rows of chain one and single crochet in a chain one space. So the repeat for this is, it's two rows of double crochets followed by three rows of single crochets. And that would be your repeating pattern. So you would repeat rows two through six. And there you can kind of see how the pattern ends up forming and the bigger and taller you end up making it, the more elaborate it ends up looking and it's beautiful. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and I really do hope that you have a happy crochet day.